Okay, so in this video we are talking about how to use HTML to format text that you are displaying in your Xamarin applications. And this is actually really powerful and stupidly simple. So um, as you, you can read about it in the blog post, you know it was a, a friend of mine who gave me this idea. And as we try to deliver a consistent experience across our uh, mobile applications and our websites, uh, mobile content websites um, uh, being responsive, trying to make sure that there is a consistent experience, we want to be able to continue to do that. And so one of the biggest problems in uh, our Xamarin applications is that anytime we need to present and display some text, it's actually really hard to format that and get it to display properly. So being able to read in a pre-formatted HTML document that we can then uh, just feed right into our Xamarin application so that, that the text is formatted the way we want it to be formatted, that's huge. So as I explained in the blog, um, at, you know, the write-up that goes along with this video, uh, you can get the HTML file that I started with. It was pretty basic. Right, so I just put in an H1 and a P tag and an H2 and some P tags and things, and so you can see what that content looks like. So let's take a look at how this actually works. So typically we display text in some kind of text view. So I'm going to come over here to my Solution Explorer. I'm going to get into my resources and my layout, and here is my main AXML file. And I'm going to add a text view to my layout so that I have a place to display that text. So I'm going to come in here to my toolbox. I'm going to find a text view. I'm going to plop it down on there. You can come over to Properties and give it a name if you want. Right? It's text view 1 by default. I'm going to call this HTML formatted text. That's kind of long, but we can just call it HTML text. Awesome. Okay, so like I said, almost stupidly simple. Come on over to your main activity, and in our on create, this is where we are going to, this is where the magic happens, right? All right, couple of using statements that we're going to add in up here. We're going to need um, system.io, because we're going to be using the stream reader class. We're going to need, um, for our asset manager, we're going to need um, using Android content res. And for our HTML, we're going to need Android text. Okay, so down here in the on create, actually very simple. The first thing we're going to do is pull that text view out. So get a reference to the text view. So we do that by text view. I'm just going to name it TV. Uh, find view by ID. And it's resource ID. Come on now. Sometimes I have to build to get these to work right. I don't know what that is. Some kind of framework problem. Ah, there we go, HTML text. All right, we're going to need a string that's going to hold our HTML values as we pull them out of the HTML file we're going to be using. And we also need to make sure that, um, so this is the, the string that holds the HTML we are reading in. Oops. And then we also need to define the asset manager that we are using. So um, asset manager this dot asset. So we're using the built-in asset manager, which references the things that are up here in this assets section. And so 
um, we would want to add our um, HTML document as an existing item, and I just have it on the desktop. I named it doc.htm. And so make sure that's added into your assets section. If you want even more organization, you can add some folders into your assets section for, you know, specifically for your HTML files. Perfectly okay to do that. So now we're going to read in the HTML file and add that data to the string. So using we have our stream reader create a new instance of the object, our asset manager, assets.open, and then in quotes the um, the path to the file that we're wanting to open in the assets section. So if you put a folder here, we need to make sure that we are using a relative path. But since I just have the file in there, it's just doc.htm. And then um, we open parentheses because this is a using statement. And inside of here, our HTML string is going to equal our stream reader, and we're just going to do a read to end. So it'll read in all of that HTML and put it all inside of that HTML string. And then we just apply what is in the HTML string to the text view. And so our text view, um, you can use set text to apply text to a text view. And then it's HTML dot from HTML and then we apply our HTML string. And then out here, outside one parenthesis, we have some additional things for set text. So we're going to do text view dot buffer type spannable. And you can see in there, there's a couple of different options for buffer type. Um, so you can play around with those to make sure it's sitting correctly the way that you want it to look. Now I will go ahead and warn you, because Visual Studio is, that this is a deprecated um, method, but it does still work. So go ahead and give that a build, and uh, if it builds okay, go ahead and run it. And then what we should see in our emulated environment or on our test device is that formatted out HTML that we see in the document. So like I said, super easy to do um, and, and really kind of a powerful tool. So here you can see, right, there is that formatted text, and you can go through and make sure that that looks like what it's supposed to look like. And so since this was deprecated, uh, it was actually recently deprecated in API 24 in favor of the web view uh, set of, of uh, controls and, and user interface content. And so web view is used to present um, network web content and documents, and it's actually very robust. So check out my next video where I'm going to show you how to use web view to basically do the same thing, but we can do it in a much more robust way, um, especially if we're wanting to start getting into this idea of being able to present our layouts in our mobile application the way that we do on the web.